Hey. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a technician at Dove Lewis and today we are going to be obtaining a urine sample um, via ultrasound guided cystocentesis in a female cat. Uh, for this procedure we are going to be having her in dorsal recumbency and I'll talk you through um, how to obtain the sample, where to put your probe and things to watch for. So some of the risks uh, associated with uh, cystocentesis would be hemorrhage, um, or, you know, in very rare cases, urine leaking into the abdomen. Um, and other situations in, in times where they have a very large, firm bladder, we do see vagal stimulation, um, which you should monitor for after that. So we have Morgan here in dorsal recumbency, and I have the probe on the caudal portion of her abdomen. If you can see, there's a small dot on the, the front part of my probe here, and on the screen, that's going to show um, the cranial aspect. So um, on my screen here, the dot is represented by that arrow. So today I'm going to be using a 6 ml syringe. Frequently we will use between a 3 and a 12 ml syringe depending on the sample size we need and a 22 um, one and a half inch needle. The needle length is more for the flexibility of the needle than the actual length of it um, and we just don't want too um, stiff of a needle causing trauma to the bladder. So what I'm going to be doing is taking my needle and I'm going to be putting it underneath the probe um, to where her bladder is on the screen. And I'm going to be watching my screen to see for my needle to appear. Hey, poking, guys. Okay, now that I'm in the bladder, I'm going to aspirate. And you can see that I'm getting urine. So what happened there was Morgan started moving and I removed my needle so that the motion didn't cause any trauma to the bladder. Um, so when I am removing my needle from the bladder wall, I stop aspirating. So I'm not aspirating through the different tissue layer, layers and getting you know, epithelial cells or fat cells in my urine sample. So now that we've finished that procedure, we are going to let Morgan go back and relax in her cage. Um, we do want to watch for that vagal stimulation, which includes vocalization, uh, dyspnea and collapse. Um, it is very rare, but it is something to be prepared for. Um, and that is how we do an ultrasound guided cystocentesis at Dove Lewis.